Next uh, topic is very interesting as about a computer, computer and skill development, need of art. This is the topic and it will be presented by none other than one of the alumni from outside Manipur. Says, uh, he is Mohin Sattar Saf, Jonel Head, MT Educare Limited, Molana Azad Education Foundation, Mumbai. Please come on the stage and let you go. Respected dignitaries sitting on the dais and other august gathering present in the hall, dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Let me start from the onset. About two and a half months ago, I was transferred from Meghalaya to Manipur. And when I was told that I'm going to go to Manipur and you know, we have a center in Infar, and the reason given to me was, Mohin Saab, you have to go. They are their own, your own community. And the center is about to be closed. Because the students are not responding to the center that has been placed by the Ministry of Minority Affairs, Malana Azad Education Foundation, which is imparting free educational program called Web Designing and uh, applic uh, computer application systems and uh, despite it being there for the four, five, five to six months the turnout was very very poor after I came here and landed in Imphal I hope all of the students are listening to me and they, they understand English I believe great so because I don't know Manipuri and you wouldn't understand Hindi. So the only medium is English. Thank you. Believe me, I was so amazed by the high potential I found here in Manipur and Imphal that I was totally floored by the, 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 by the students, especially the girls and their potential to learn the computers. And let, let me first thank my express my sense of gratitude to a person sitting in the front row, Mr. Abdul Kalam, who was very, very helpful and he offered all the support to me when I went to him and said, Sir, I know you will, you are not, it's not your job to get the students to the center, but I am Muslim and you are a Muslim, we should help each other. And from that day onwards, every day he has taken me to all the locality, all the mohalla, all the streets of um, this Chhetri Gaon and we have done a wonderful job here. And I have found that children are very much interested in learning computers. Now come to the point, whether at all computers are necessary for the skill development, believe me that that was the topic given to me in 1985 when I had cleared my MBA exam in Aligarh and there was a group discussion and the, and the title was whether at all computers are necessary won't it generate more unemployment that is the a type of feeling or the sense of at attachment to the whether it was at all was required or not people were very apprehensive they were not happy that computers have landed Rajiv Gandhi came into power and he introduced computers left, right, center. And that was a burning question at that time. And you see today, not a single industry can survive, right from manufacturing to retail to wholesale to accounting to any type of real estate where, they are, where computers are not required. Even the skill development programs which has been run by Minority Affairs Department, like apart from this web designing, we have a traditional embroidery and tailoring program, which uh, we have a center in Itanagar and uh, Meghale and Assam. No, uh, we have only one center here which offers the web designing. Even there, it is mandatory for us to run some, some hours to make them understand how to operate the system. It is mandatory even for the tailoring tailors. So you can imagine how important computers have. It's a long journey they have covered right from 85 till today. 
so computer has got a very very intrinsic value in our in our in our in our ecosystem you can say not a single industry can survive as i told you and this government has launched numerous schemes in the last 4 or 5 years where they want to empower the youth indian for example there are about 550 million that is equivalent to 55 crore indian youths which are which are in india and they need education they need employment and for them to get a proper employment in other industry all over the world not only in india outside india also as well they need to be given some sort of a skill development program and every skill development program is linked to the computers so if you see even from the primary school now these girls and boys which are sitting i believe they you must be having some some periods where they you all learn computers right from the primary school to tertiary level computers are given to the children to learn and and the government has launched this uh, national skill development council it's a primary uh, uh, institution launched by the government which provides skill development programs to nearly 55 million nearly 40 crores and their project their pro target is till 2022 they they need to train 40 crore youths so that they not only they get job in india but overseas as well and the government of india has Uh, gone into some sort of a partnership with other uh, countries and international companies for example oracle a very uh, very well known company from us they have made uh, they have going to start a, a campus in bangalore that will train 5 lakh indians for the next 5 years similarly with japan the government of india has again formed a, a sort of a partnership where the japanese skills and their work ethics will be introduced in the indian market and they will start a three universities in hyderabad gujarat and bangalore so you see the government has then they have their own number of number of skill development programs as you must have heard uh, prime minister kaushal vikas yojana pmky it is the premier uh, scheme which uh, which is aimed at providing skills in different sectors for right from data entry to hair stylist to beautician to lot of things similarly deen dayal upadhyay gramin this is for rural india they say the most of the youth is available in rural india hence the government of india has introduced this deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal vikas yojana which is aimed at providing education and skill development to the rural population of the country then they have formed another 100 international skill centers where foreign languages will be taught to the indians so that when they go out they don't have any difficulty in learning the lang uh, in understanding the language or getting a job because if they for example if i am i was i was working in dubai and then i couldn't get one job in saudi arabia which was very highly paid because at that time i didn't have the knowledge of arabic so similarly we are going the government of india is going to offer not only arabic but all the foreign major languages like chinese and french and swiss and or what not so you see the government has launched why it's focusing on a skill a skill development and computers are interlinked they are inseparably interlinked in the sense that all educational skill development program that has been launched by the government of india are through computers only unless as i told you even barbers like hair stylist job in, in like in maulana azad education foundation there are other jobs also like seekho kamao there is one one section called seekho kamao manas uh, program where we impart for example how to cut hair to all to all those who are school dropouts they don't have enough resources to go for 11th or 12th or do any sort of a graduation so basically the job is the government's job is to create vocational institutes of repute and provide fund to them it's a government uh, versus a uh, government partnership with the private companies similarly there are other other uh, uh, skill development programs which is being launched aware so basically what i would like to tell all the students that you know the ad, after the advent of internet as you know everything from manufacturing to retail like we have in erp it's a in enterprise resource planning it's a, it's a it's a function that carries the entire work of a company so if you undergo a small skill develop a small scheme a small course learning that particular erp you can easily walk into any organization of repute not only in india outside india 
So in that sense, it's very, very imperative that you all understand that computers are not... I think we have to take a break. Let Azan be finished. Okay, so that is what I would like to tell to students that uh, time is right. The government has launched a number of schemes for you to grab. And what we have seen that uh, the youth in India is taking this opportunity and uh, equipping itself to be a part of change. That is what we all want in this country. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mohit Sattar Saab. That was uh, because uh, <coughs> computer is uh, one of the subjects that every student like to learn about this. I am expecting that all the children are learning the computer in their uh, regular education system and also expecting that whenever we say to try a draft, even if they can't write a correct English format, at least they should know that how to format in MS Word and what to do in Photoshop. So these things we learn now at the age of 40, 30, 35. But that age should not be there. You should learn when you come out of the 10th standard. You should be able to do what is Word, what is uh, type in MS Word, or you, can, you have to have the knowledge how to do calculation in Excel, uh, and then do some editing in Photoshop or PageMaker or something like that. So with this kind of skill development training, that kind of education can be imparted to the students. That is what we believe.